Today we're going to be watching my friend's favorite Christmas movie, and that is Die Hard. Now, I know this isn't a Christmas movie, but the only thing I do know about this movie is that it takes place on December 24th, and check the date today. I've actually, I'm have actually i actually posting this on December 24th. That is 100% intentional. I Since I know it takes place on December 24th, that's why people consider it a Christmas movie, and that's why people debate whether it is or not. It's just on the 24th. I wanted to post this video on December 24th because I feel like that'd just be kind of fun. I've held off on doing this movie very intentionally for that reason. I got the idea back in like March of earlier this year and I was like, oh, I should do Die Hard. And I was talking to my friend about it and they told me it takes place on the 24th. So I was like, oh wait, I should wait till the 24th of December to post it. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this movie. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon as well as early access to other movies that I do also be available on Patreon or YouTube membership, so click the join button down below. But anyways, let's get started. You want to know the secret to surviving air travel? What? After you get where you're going, take off your shoes and your socks, then you walk around on the rug barefoot and make fists with your toes. I know, I know, it sounds crazy. Trust me, I've been doing it for nine years. Everyone's got their superstitions. Oh. It's okay, I'm a cop. Been doing this for 11 years. <laughs> can cops do that? Like, if you're just a regular cop, can... I don't know, whatever. And he's smoking in the in the airport. All right, yeah. She was different back in the day. Ooh, and Alan Rickman, let's go. Jenny, it's 5.40. Go join the party, have some champagne. You're making me feel like Ebenezer Scrooge. Don't worry, I am. Um... Did Mr. McLean call? No, Mrs. Holly. No telephone. So it's Bruce e in the photo. Relax. We got everything in this mug, man. Look at this. C D C It's not even in the back. That probably yeah, that probably would be pretty weird to be in a limo all by yourself in the back. Yeah, you'd rather just ride in the front of the, the driver with Argyle. Six months. Meaning you still live in New York. So you divorced? Just drive the car, man. <laughs> hey, come on, you divorced? You now that means she had to move here. You're very fast, Argyle. Well, why'd you come with her, man? What's up? Because I'm a New York cop. Dog and New York scumbags I'm still trying to put behind bars. I can't just pick up and go that easy. So in other words, you thought she wasn't going to make it out here and she'd come crawling up back to you. Why bother to pack, right? <laughs> Damn. Like I said, you're very fast, Argyle. Oh, oh, that was the reason. Argyle gets it. Pull in the parking garage and I'll wait. You score, you give me a call on the car phone. I'll take your bags to the desk. You strike out, I'll get you a hotel. All right, yeah. What a guy. Just remember that when you sign for the tip. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> That's why. Mm. Christ. Uh, under a different name. Not McLean. Spare bedroom. I mean, it's not huge or anything, but... Kids would love to have you at the house. I missed you. Funny. They figure a married woman's got. You are a married her. woman, Holly. You're married to oh, me. You're gonna have this. Married. Hmm. The music makes me not trust that truck and that car. Okay, those are definitely henchmen. So Kareem rebounds, right? Feeds worthy on the break over to AC. To They're faking this. This is, this is part of their thing. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Two points. Damn. Flashbang. Waxed. <laughs> it's helping. Mm -hmm. It's giving the superstition. Yeah, so, oh, this feels nice. <laughs> Switch your toes. How many of you just did that? Uh -huh. I did. All right, where are you? I'm kicking it down the garage. What's the word with you and your lady, man? Still? Still down there? Oh, they're gonna. Oh, no, they're gonna fucking shoot up the party. No rushing this shit. Okay, no, they're not. Okay, okay, they didn't immediately just start shooting. Yeah, Bruce Willis is the cop. Oh, no, they are. Yeah, and he has to save the day. Okay, okay, they're just shooting up. 
Okay, I'm not gonna lie. First impression so far is this movie feels like a Batman movie, and this is about the time Batman shows up. Greed mm. around the globe. They're about to be taught a lesson in the real use of power. You will be witnesses. Yoshinobu Takagi. It's definitely not you. Nakatomi Investment Group. Enough. I am Takagi. It's brave. How do you do? Oh, I'm doing good. How are you? It's a pleasure to meet you. Thanks. At least he's nice. Nice suit. Thanks. John and when Alexander saw the breadth of his domain, he wept, for there were no more worlds to conquer. Mm, oh, that's hard. It's beautiful. Is this what this is all about? Our project in Indonesia? My associate here has some questions for you. You broke in here to access our computer? But I need the code key. Because I am interested in the six hundred and forty million dollars in negotiable bearer bonds that you have locked in your vault. Mm, okay, gotcha. Computer controls the vault. There are seven safeguards on our vault, and the code key is only one of them. You'll never get it open. And then there's no reason not to tell it to us. Yeah. <laughs> and Mr. Takagi, to be ashamed to ruin it. He's only going to be nice for so much longer, dude, before he just starts getting impatient. There will not be a four. One. Two. Does he do it? Does he fold? Get on the jet to Tokyo and ask the chairman. I'm telling you, you're just going to have to kill me. Are you you're willing okay. to die? <gasps> oh, but damn. What if he did know the code and he's the only person here who knows it? Now you're not getting it for sure. Damn, RIP though. He called their bluff and they did it. Damn. You can break the code. Hmm. He didn't bring me along for my charming personality. <laughs> Argo, tell me you heard the shots. You're calling the police right now. Of course I'm nope. still coming by later. <laughs> He's risen right now. But yeah, they could just break the code anyway, I guess. they. So they weren't worried if they killed him. Yeah, they were just trying to see if they could do it a much easier way first. But no. The seventh lock, however, is out of my hands. Okay, he, he left the hotel room before grabbing his shoes. Is he going to be barefoot for this entire movie? Oh, per great idea. I mean, it doesn't matter if he is, but it'd be kind of funny if he was barefoot for the entire movie, so. Papa, I'll kiss your fucking Dalmatian. Wait, they're just going <gasps> to... You just... stupid motherfuckers! No, no, no! Turn the fucking truck around! Okay, he looks like a, he looks like a mix between Evan Peters... And Michael Fassbender. <laughs> Honestly, it's the hair and the glasses that make him look like Evan Peters from Dahmer, and then he just just he just looks like Michael Fassbender. Really, it's Michael Fassbender if he were to play Dahmer. Drop it, dickhead. <laughs> it's the police. You won't hurt me. Oh, yeah. But why not? Because you're a policeman. There are rules for policemen. <laughs> not me. That's what my captain keeps telling me. <laughs> <laughs> Did that kill him when that break his neck? Waxed. Bet your ass I wish to proceed. <laughs> I like this guy. I million terrorists in the world and I gotta kill one with feet smaller than my sister. <laughs> I did not see it that way, so he won't be joining us for the rest of his life. <sighs> Damn. I mean, okay, honestly, I, I get the feeling that if... Mr. Takagi did cooperate and gave him the code. Everything just gave him everything they wanted to know. They would not have killed him. Who? I mean, like honestly, who knows? But like, oh no, I have a mission. <laughs> but I just get the feeling, even though they are doing this really terrible thing, they would still honor that, you know. I have a machine gun. What does it say under? Ho ho ho. Ho ho. ho. If he did know the code and everything they wanted to know. He claims he didn't, but I feel like he did, and he was just, he just wasn't gonna fold. Body upstairs and out of sight. Yeah, he's getting names. We do not alter the plan. And if he alters it. Something's wrong. John. Mm-hmm. She knows it's him. Fuck this whole thing up. What does he think he's doing? His job. Yeah. Back him up. 
armed with automatic weapons at Nakatomi Plaza, Century City. That's the best place to transmit. Attention, whoever you are, this channel is reserved for emergency calls only. No fucking shit, lady! Do I sound like I'm ordering a pizza? <laughs> <laughs> No one kills him but me. That means so. What? I almost got his foot. Oh, well, it just turned on. It wasn't. It wasn't already spinning, you know. So. Ooh, that is so risky. right there oh no it's gonna give out you gotta jump you gotta jump oh, okay he got the okay he got a different one but it was really loud Just wait, yep. He's just gonna wait. Carl, come on, the police are The floor's Carl. One more. Damn, that's that's lucky. I'll check the area again and confirm. You gotta get his attention somehow. Who's driving this car, Stevie Wonder? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, you gotta do something, but you're gonna give away your position, but you gotta do something. Free, motherfucker, mm. stop it! Put that fucking gun down! 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 Next time you have a chance to kill someone, don't hesitate. <laughs> Dumbass. Dude, you just get another chair and throw that shit out the window. Come on, before he leaves. <sighs> For the love. There's a hole. Scream out of it. Oh, he threw the body out. <laughs> oh, the, he still has. Dude, he's still chilling in that goddamn limo. Are you back up the system now? Now, goddamn it, now! <laughs> Timing, that's all. Police action was inevitable. And as it happens, necessary, so I thought I told all of you I want radio silence until oh, further I'm very sorry, Hans. Mm. I didn't get that message. <laughs> Maybe you and Carl and Franco might be a little lonely, so I wanted to give you a call. How does he know so much about this? He knows all their names. I like how he stomped them and then he responded, you yeah, stay calm. Would you like to go for double jeopardy where the scores can really change? <laughs> what the fuck? It's like, that is unprofessional. I like how calm he stays, though, and how polite he talks to them. You really think you have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? yippee ki motherfucker. I like how we're stacked up so far, so I like my odds. Here. Here. Yo! The mass of problems. How's your schedule? Three down, four to go. And Here's the deal. You got 30 or so hostages on the 30th floor. Name's we have to find him and shut him up. He's telling them everything. Let him. I'm waiting for the FBI to arrive until then. He can waste as much time as he likes. These guys are mostly European, judging by their clothing labels and... And the fact that they're all speaking German to each other. <laughs> like, you've heard them speak German. It's not just us. You've heard that, too. But you got some badass perpetrators now here to stay. He's comfortable. He's all geared up. Smoking a cig. He's chilling. <laughs> This fucking guy. Well, who in the hell you been talking to? There. He won't give us his name. But he appears to be the one who phoned in the report. Could be one of the terrorists pulling your chain. Or if I think he's a cop. Mm. Maybe not LAPD, but he's definitely a badge. Hey, how, how do you know that? A hunch. Things he said. Jesus Christ, pal! Could be a fucking bartender for all we know. <sighs> okay, it sounds stupid when you say it, when you say it like that, but in the moment, like Powell hears a cop, he knows how cops talk. He has a point, but like, <laughs> it's his gut feeling, his intuition that believes him, you know, makes him think that he can trust Roy, you know, John here. So I would like permission to move her to one of the offices where there's a sofa. No, but I'll have a sofa brought out to you. Good enough? And unless you like it messy, I'd start bringing us in groups to the bathroom. 
Yes, you're right. It will be done. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. He, he noticed that she looked right at that. Oh, so he's gonna look at them. Mr. Takagi chose his people well, Mrs. Miss. Genera. Miss, not Mrs. But, well, now he knows this is her office. He's gonna look at that picture and be like, okay, that's her husband. He's probably not gonna assume that her husband's the one in here, you know, fucking ruining everything. But if they ever see each other face to face, he'll realize. An unidentified group of men seized control of the Nakatomi building. Sealing off. <laughs> According to official sources, the body of position in the main entrance. All right, guys. Poor Argyle, dude. He had no idea <laughs> till now. That's scary. You know, I will say I do like how calm, cool, and collected, and polite, and reasonable Alan Rickman's character is. It's really nice, actually. Like it makes me, it makes me like him more than hate him. You know, you know, I don't hate him at all. I think he's a great antagonist. Because if he was a dickhead, I don't think it'd work as well. But it makes him feel like he's worthy of being the leader in command because he can stay calm and collected, you know, and he knows how to handle everything. Yeah, don't don't take cover behind glass. Like that glass counter. Oh, he just wants chocolate marps. They'll be impatient. Just wound them. Patience is key. Police have themselves an RV. Don't drop that. Oh my god, the quarterback is toast. Damn, sack the quarterback. Damn. Motherfucker, you made your point. Let him pull back. Thank you, Mr. Cowboy. I'll take it under advisement. Hit it again. Ooh. No mercy. Fuck it. He's right by the elevator. Oh, motherfucker. Sir. Now you listen to Say please. All you think you are or what you're doing, but you just destroyed a building. Now we do not want your help. But you need it. Who gives a shit about glass? Who the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah. Deputy Chief of Police Dwayne T. Robinson, and I am in charge of this situation. Look, I don't give a fuck who you are. Well, I got some bad news for you, Dwayne. Up here, then look like you're in charge of jack shit. <laughs> Hey, you listen to me, jerk off. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. Quit mm -hmm. being part of the fucking problem and put the other guy back on. Mm -hmm. Hang in there, man. You hear me? Mm -hmm. You hang in there. I hope by the end of this movie, I hope John and Powell go get a beer or something. That'd be sick. That'd be a great way to end the movie. Like, they just become lifetime best friends. That'd be sick. Hey, babe. I negotiate million dollar deals for breakfast. I think I can handle this Euro trash. Nope. I don't think you can. This is totally different. Hope I'm not interrupting. <sighs> They're not gonna fall for your dumbass charm. The motivated? They're happening. I.e., they want something, huh? The Hebes, Northern Island, it's none of my business. I figure you're here to negotiate. Am I right? You're amazing. You figured this all out already. <laughs> <laughs> the guy upstairs is fucking things up, huh? <clears throat> I can give him to you. Hello? Uh -huh. Well, as a matter of fact, my wife is working on our first. <gasps> What if that's his wife in the building? That pregnant girl, that'd be crazy. Or should I call you Mr. McLean? Mm. John McLean of the New York Police Department. Yeah, Ellis is telling him everything. Hey, John boy. <laughs> All right, John, listen. They want you to tell them what the detonators are, or they're gonna kill me. Watch them just kill him anyway. Ellis, listen to me very carefully. John. Shut up, Ellis. Just shut your mouth. My friend, I just met him tonight. I don't know him. Jesus Christ, Ellis. These people are going to kill you. Tell them you don't know me. John, how can you say that after all these years, huh? John. <laughs> yeah, he's going to yeah. <laughs> Dead dumbass, dude. You hear that? Talk to me. Where am 
my detonators. No, later I might get to someone you do care about. Mm. Go fuck yourself. <sighs> Cold. Did you hear that? He just let the guy die, man. He just gave him up. Give me that headset. That's like pulling the trigger Christ, yourself. Man, can't shut up. Can't That's you cold. read between the lines? The right. He did everything he could to save him. Pull himself up, they'd both be dead oh, right now. No yes. way, man. No way. They'd be talking to us. Yes. Listen, you tell the boy, I'm really gonna nail his ass now. Believe the me. man is hurting. He is alone, tired. Give a damn about what you do to him. If he makes it out of there alive, why don't you wake up and smell what you shoveling? You listen. Anytime you wanna go home. You consider yourself dismissed. No, sir. You couldn't drag me away. Stan. Stan. Hell yeah. This is, uh, this is uh, Deputy Chief Dwayne Robinson. Mm, trembling. The following people are to be released from their captors. In Northern Ireland, the seven members of the new Provo Front. Mm. Nine members of the Asian Dawn. What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, he's trying to always be worried. Time magazine. No, oh, uh, he read about them in Time magazine. Do you think they'll even try to do it? No. Who cares? You gotta believe me. There's nothing I could do. Mm -hmm. I do. Doctor Hasseldorf, what can we expect in the next few hours? Well, Gail, by this time, the Gail Weathers. I'm just kidding. Stages of the Helsinki syndrome. As in Helsinki, Sweden. The hostages and the terrorists go through a sort. Yeah, oh, he feels like shit about that one. I'm Agent Johnson. This is Special Agent Johnson. Oh, I... <laughs> all right. I'm Dwayne Robinson, LAPD. I'm in charge here. We're in charge now. Not anymore. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> Why? That's a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the no, he still has no shoes on. How you doing? Oh, he's old. Oh. Oh. Relax. Relax, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you! Damn, he's all, damn, he's scared as hell. Oh, he's pretending he's a hostage, because they, they don't, he doesn't know his face. That's, okay, that's what he's doing. If you just from here, why, do, why don't you come in and have oh, a roof? Roof. Come on, come on. I said, forget the roof, I got people all over. You wanna stay alive, you stay with me. Oh, I wonder. Oh, dude, I wonder when he's gonna realize it's Hans. Oh, oh, that's gonna be good, dude. That's quick thinking by Hans too. He as soon as he realized it, that's him. That's John. He just immediately switched to that fear. Immediately switched to that. You smoke? Yeah. <laughs> and if you're not one of them, I'm a cop from New York. Oh, he. New York. Oh, he does realize that. That's John. Okay, I thought you realized right. All right, I thought like as soon as he saw like the gun, you know, he's like, okay, it's not one of our guys. He realized that's John. I'm John McClane. Hmm. You're uh. Oh, oh. Mm. Clay. Okay, no, he just realized then. Yeah, he just saw that right there. It's probably nothing in it. Well, well, well. Hans. Damn, I thought they were like Loki gonna get like like get to know each other or something and they're gonna become like they're gonna become cool or whatever. And then John's gonna realize. I already used all the explosives. Or did I? <laughs> like you did with Takagi. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oops. You think I'm fucking stupid, Hans? Nope. <laughs> You know, John probably realized that's not, he's not a hostage when he said his name's Clay. But he looked on the board and saw Clay on the board. He's like, oh. So then he gave him the gun without bullets. Because John didn't even flinch when he started speaking German. You're back in business. Mm -hmm. What? Why are you looking at me like that? You got it. God, that man looks really pissed. Yeah, I'd say still he's a little alive. bit upset. Yeah, <laughs> she knows John's still alive. Only John can drive somebody that crazy. <laughs> Dude, she's falling in love with him all over again. John McClane, you still with us? <gasps> yeah. Wait, you know what he sounds like? What Powell sounds like? Sounds like that generated of on a TikTok when it's like reading text. I had an accident. The way you drive, I can see why. What'd you do? Run over your captain's foot with the car. Yeah, he's just trying to talk. Oh, he's just patching his foot. I shot a kid. Oh. Yeah, the ray gun looked real enough. Damn. Wait, I just couldn't bring myself to draw my gun on anybody again. 
but automatically in response to a terrorist incident. You ask for miracles, dear. I give you. Yep. That's it. Yep, that's exactly what they wanted. I understand. You can't do it from here. Yeah, you could. It, it can't be done from <laughs> 10 blocks. Gee. Yeah. Johnson, that's crazy. It's Christmas Eve, man. There's thousands mm -hmm. of people. You have to we go. Can't... Lose the grid or you lose your job. Uh, would it be possible for you to turn off uh, Grid 212? It's going to go. Yeah. It's going to go. The music, the music's, music's great right now. You know what? I'm gonna say it. This is a Christmas movie. <laughs> it's close enough. This is Agent Johnson. No, the other one. I was. <laughs> Down will blow the roof. They'll spend a month sifting through the rubble, and by the time they figure out what went wrong, we'll be sitting on a beach earning yep. twenty percent. I want you to do something for me. Uh, I want you to find my wife. Don't ask me how, by then you'll know how. I want you to tell her something. That I love her. <sighs> I told her it took me a while to figure out uh, what a jerk I've been. I've been more supportive. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just should have been behind her more. Bro, you're gonna make it. I love you a thousand times. She never heard me say I'm sorry. Damn. I want you to tell her that uh, John said that he was sorry. You got that, man? No, because you're going to tell her yourself. Say you can tell her that yourself. Yeah, fucking go. Let's fucking go. You just watch your ass and you'll make it mm -hmm. out of there. You hear me? Let's go. Pal, pal, listen to me. It's a double cross. The whole roof of the building fired. No. Fuck. We're both professional. This is personal. Oof. Okay, do it. Stop wasting time then. Oh, you have to see that. That's what happens when you wish fucking time. Damn, John. Oh, oh, yep, yep. Now he knows John's face, and he just he just realized. I us to make your acquaintance. No. Oh, I thought he shot her for a second. My eyes were kind of closed when that first gunshot went off. So she saw her kid on TV. She looked to see. She looked worried, and he read that like a book. Here we take out the terrorists. Lose 20, 25 percent of the hostages. Oh, oh, we got him in this. Uh. You're nothing but a common thief. Mm. I am an exceptional thief, Ooh. Mrs. McLean. And since I'm moving up to kidnapping, you should be more polite. Ooh, that bothered him. Ooh. I'm gonna fucking cook you! Oh, hang, you're gonna hang him. Oh my god. Fucking waxed. Oh, waxed. This like fucking Saigon. Okay, why are the Asians going with them? And the, that seems really stupid, to be honest, by them on their part. Like, whatever. <laughs> And oh, oh, lucky, lucky. <laughs> the timing, oh, wait, is that gonna rip him out? Oh, oh no. <laughs> okay, okay, you're it. you got it. I'm gonna need some more FBI guys, I guess. <laughs> Oh, that was really good. Jesus. Hi, honey. Fucking robbery. 
steal 600 million, they will find you unless they think you're already dead. Put what was it you said to me before? Yippee ki <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 he's gonna tape to him. <laughs> Damn! Good villain. I liked them. I liked them a lot. Uh, yeah, but they get the meat to him. They just know it's. They just know. Hug. You got a hug. You got a hug. <laughs> yeah. There you go. That's a friendship that will last forever for the rest of their lives. Hello, Holly. You got yourself a good man. You take good care of him. I want a debrief. I want a debrief. Oh, fuck off. Get out of here. Thing. Property damage interfering with mm. police business. Ooh. Oh, this motherfucker's still, still alive? It's Al who did it. It's Al. He's the one shooting him. Yeah. There's his redemption. Oh, it's, it's all now. <laughs> He's like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Oh, man, he's gonna drive him home. <laughs> Incredible ordeal. What are your feelings? <laughs> Real. Did you get that? Yeah, we did. This is their idea of Christmas. I gotta be here for New Year's. <laughs> Frightful. But the fire is so delightful. Oh, and we even got a Christmas song in this. This checks every single box to be a Christmas movie. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. It doesn't... All right. Well, that was Die Hard. I'm really happy I watched this. I'm really happy. All right, that was Die Hard. I had a really fun time doing this movie. This movie was absolutely phenomenal. It was really engaging the entire time. The movie didn't lose me at all at any point. There's just something about them, about the older movies, dude. They hit different. Oh, besides Harry Potter, I think this is the only movie that I've seen Alan Rickman in, to be honest. He, oh my God, he is such a good actor. Oh my God, he played Hans so, so well. I really liked his character. I thought he, I thought his character was amazing. I thought he was portrayed so, so well. I love how calm and cool and collected he was the entire time and like how fair, how reasonable he was. That was nice. It's a good touch because he, it makes him feel human. He's not just some dickhead in charge, you know? You're not necessarily rooting for him, but you are, but you are interested to see him, to see how he handles these situations. Situations. You know, you are interested. At times, I was more interested in Alan Rickman's character than I was in Bruce Willis's character. Both were amazing. I haven't seen too many Bruce Willis movies, to be honest. Like, he's an actor I've always known about, but I've, I've never, like, dove really deep in his movies. Let me, let me look up what, let me go through his catalog and see. Like, I've seen Pulp Fiction, which I did for the channel too. Die Hard with a Vengeance? Okay, there's another one. So now I've seen Die Hard, seen Pulp Fiction. Ooh, Unbreakable. I actually have seen that movie. I, I remember one time I was just chilling in the living room. I was just, when I was super duper young, I was probably like seven, I think. Uh, it was just on on TV and I just watched the entire thing and, I, and it was really damn good. I don't recognize any of these other movies, to be honest. Okay, that's weird because I feel like I've seen Bruce Willis in like a good amount of movies but i'm looking through this catalog right here and like there's like i don't really remember a lot of these like i don't recognize any of these all right well we gotta do some more bruce willis movies which ones should i do next for you guys okay and i'm looking through alan rickman's catalog too yeah besides harry potter and die hard i haven't seen any of these let me know if we should check out some more alan rickman movies too but yeah that was die hard comment down below what you thought about this movie down below in the comments and if you like the video like the video and thanks for watching